Hello, Evan here. Uh, welcome to my channel. And if it's your first time here, enjoy your stay and hope you enjoy my content. Today, I want to talk about Yao Winter Solstice from Snowbrick. And this is my first time creating this kind of video, so I kinda nervous. First, I want to say I have a blast playing this game since launch. It's unique, it's kinda remind me of an old game that I used to play with. It's a division with a waifu. For a disclosure, I only play Snowbrick when it's launched, so I have no idea if this game ever see BT back then. So let's get to it! Before I start, let me point out something since I don't want this video to become like a must-do or a meta for a Yao or any other character on Snowbrick if I make another video on Snowbrick. Okay, um, first this pure opinion, no detailed calculation was made since I don't want to claim this video as a meta. This is purely from my experience uh, playing Snowbrick since beginning until now. Second, feel free to point out if there is something I can optimize on Yao in the comment section. I love to see what others do with their Yao. Third, enjoy the feeds and subscribe if you like the video. Okay, now we finished with introduction, so now we can get to Yao, our thick hitting hard sniper. As you can see, she's been praising Hackley as a god tire character. I just recently know there's a uh, there's a character tire on Snowbreak. I got Yao from clearing 512, so I don't get her from Gacha. Been using her till now and very much amazed how much firepower she brings to the table. And I will share my opinion about her and to you in this video. Now let's start with her weapon. I will assume you already rolled the gacha so you have those 3 star sniper lying around. For a 3 star sniper I've been using this Mulberry bolt action sniper rifle since I have no luck getting a better weapon until recently. And it's a decent 3 star weapon, I've been using it at the beginning when I acquired Yao at first. It give you like a strike 15% thermal damage boost at tier 1 so it's a decent weapon but I don't recommend to invest more on it, so yeah. Moving on, as you can see, my Yao at very early run at level 30, she hits around 1 or 3k damage and do crit at 6k, I believe. The logistic I used, it's still mixed back then, just put any percentage plus attack or something. I'll get the logistic part really soon. Next, let's talk about her 4 star weapon that I recommend to use with Yao if you don't have the Space Cowboys yet. It's the Infernal Decade Semi Auto Sniper Rifle. Got good rate of fire, good damage, also, it boosts your ultimate energy gain whenever you shoot with it, so you can catch her ult more often. To be honest, Infernal Decade is my favorite sniper until now. Hope they release the SSR version of this weapon for Yao. I really considering switching from Space Cowboys if they do that. Now let's talk about the weapon that you really want on Yao right now. You get it, it's Space Cowboys. 5 star weapon, orange, SSR, whatever you call it. What I really like about this weapon is the effect it's really straightforward. I don't like the weapon that's effects are too complicated like you must do X at certain Z, do Y at level B, yada yada. This gun just give you 18% straightforward thermal damage boost and give you another 60% after reload for the first bullet you shot at tier 1. So far I've been using this Space Cowboys weapon at Yao. I... The damage output's really good. Like I do around 60k damage at a recent Gigaling event. Super cool weapon, but the thing I don't like about this weapon is the rate of fire. Yeah, after you using Infernal Decade, switching back to bolt action sniper rifle, it's really pain in the ass. Now let's cover her logistic part. If you see my first video using Yao at, I believe, the boss name is Behavior or something, her logistic was kinda mess back then. I only put any logistic that boosts her attack. But I think it's okay if you don't want to invest on purple logistic as long as boost damage will anything will do. Now we get to my recent build. For now I'm using a Dharma squad set. The effect for the complete set I believe it's really good for Yao. Yup, at 2 thirds of the squad you get the ballistic damage plus 24%, that's a pretty huge boost. And at the complete set you get another 46% ballistic damage boost every time you use her skill for 5 seconds. I believe it's 5 seconds, correct me if I'm wrong. And you know how quickly Yao's skill regenerate and how quickly her skill usage, it's really win-win match for Yao. For my future plan for Yao, I currently looking for space cowboy dupes so I can boost its tire and tuning her logistic. Staying on her mask squad set is not bad option but we still we still in early day for Snowbreak so anything can happen. I've been looking up on Mizuho squad logistic and I want to test this out soon as soon I got 
the full set. That is all for now. I didn't cover the manifest or the neuronics since you at will be automatically just max out her neurons or if you get lucky just full on cap her manifest. If this video helps you in any way or maybe there is something I've been missing or can be more optimized in the future, just let me know in the comment section and put the subs to my channel if you like the video and want to see more video like this in the future. Uh, thank you and have a good day.